Hello everyone, welcome to another micro lecture with me. I'm Miss Alice and I'm happy to see you all here again. So for today, we will discuss another topic called cell division, specifically mitosis. So let's start. What is mitosis? Mitosis is a nuclear division and produces two identical daughter cells during prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. So the name mitosis means threads and pertains to the chromosome's thread-like appearance when the cell splits. So the spindle is made up of tubules that originate from structures called centrosomes, which are found at each of the cell's opposite ends or poles. It usually shortens and migrates toward the cell poles. Mitosis is primarily responsible for cell growth and replacement as well. However, mistakes produced during mitosis can cause alterations in the DNA, which can lead to hereditary illness if not rectified in time. So let's start. So each phase includes distinct processes in the chromosomal alignment and separation process. So after mitosis, the entire cell divides into two through the process of cytokinesis. First, we have prophase. Under a microscope, the chromosomes condense into X-shaped structures that are plainly visible. Each chromosome is made up of two sister chromatids, each of which contains the same genetic material. So the membrane around the nucleus in the cell dissolves at the conclusion of the prophase, freeing the chromosomes. So the mitotic spindle, which is made up of microtubules and other proteins, spans the cell and connects the centrioles as they travel to opposite poles. Next, we have metaphase. The chromosomes are perfectly lined up end to end along the cell's equator. The mitotic spindle threads extend from the centrioles, which are now at opposing poles of the cell. So the sister chromatids are connected by the mitotic spindle threads. Next, we have anaphase. The mitotic spindle then pulls the sister chromatids apart, pulling one chromatid to one pole and the other chromatid to the opposite pole. Lastly, we have telophase, a complete pair of chromosomes assemble at each cell pole. To build two new nuclei, a membrane forms surrounding each set of chromosomes. The single cell then pinches in the middle, separating into two daughter cells, each with a nucleus and a full set of chromosomes. This is called the process of cytokinesis. So in order to remember the phases, you can memorize them by saying P math repeatedly. P for prophase, M for metaphase, A for anaphase, and T for telophase. So this ends our lecture for today. I hope you learned something and I'll see you in our next video. Bye!